Hello everybody and I hope you're having a fantastic day and in this video I'm going to be talking about the treasure spawn with the monster Cecila. Okay, so this monster is great for player versus enemy. This monster is not too good for player versus player except for guild battles. This monster is not the greatest for guild battles whatsoever, but it can be used on an occasion or perhaps you need a 36 cost monster or a really high cost monster to throw down when it comes to guild battles. This monster does the trick and honestly does the trick. And it does have some um, parts of its ability that can be useful for guild battles. Overall though, um, this monster is a lot better in player versus enemy. This is a lot more of a player versus enemy monster, not too much of a player versus player or a guild battle monster. Can be used on the occasion when it comes to guild battles, but this is by far more of a player versus enemy monster. Okay, so we got right here the best three abilities is Kaz Resurrection. Resurrection pretty much brings you back to life. When you should be dead, it brings you back at 60% health. It's pretty much like a free gem revive, and except it's on a monster. Increased use of gauge gains of all allies by 2 for 60 seconds. Unison makes the world go round. Very important ability because sometimes it takes a lot of unisons. And if you watch some of the really hardest missions, like really hard missions, um, even carnage like sometimes when you're doing like carnage missions or anything even better than that Purgatory stuff like that if they have missions like that you having resurrection and having use of gauge gains is very important because if you don't constantly use unisons it's going to possibly actually get you dead it's probably actually going to hurt a lot for you and you might actually honestly lose the mission if you go out of rotation when it comes to unisons so yes unison is very very important resurrection is very important as well and blessing is a very good a buff as well now it only casts this on your character sadly but blessing is a pretty good buff as well this can be used in both guild battles and player versus player um i mean player versus enemy both guild battles and player versus enemy definitely really nice abilities right here but here's where she also kicks in and this is where she shines them this is why she shines the most and super united offenses and guilt rage she also removes damage reflection continuous healing and damage reduction effects from all enemies that is by far it can be used in player versus player if you're dealing like guild battle wise player versus player if you're dealing with like madia or perhaps something that has like unison priority and it just helps the enemy team stay alive this monster can be used to get rid of that crap and pretty much make sure they're dead but other than that this is mainly going to be used in like super united offenses and this is going to be used in guild raids Removes buffs from all enemies also is mainly going to be used in super united offenses and it's also going to be used in guild raids and healing is also a great player versus this is barely ever 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 needed in guild battles this is like by far a player versus enemy um definitely ability that's going to help out and what so not definitely so this monster is a greatly bent towards player versus enemy Especially in guild raids and um, super united offenses, this monster would probably shine the most. Her blessing ability is not great for super united offenses and guild raids. The build, like the buff, is itself, but since it only casts it on yourself, and there's so many other people playing with you in guild raids and super united offenses, unless you all have like your own design hero monster or perhaps blessing monster, this probably won't be the best choice to use because you probably want to use something that helps with everybody in the guild like gives a buff to everybody sort of like aquarius to be fairly honest both this and aquarius are pretty dang good resurrection monsters and probably some like they're the best resurrection monsters in the game right now there might be another one or two i'm not thinking of but these monsters definitely do the trick so this is definitely a very very good monster though this is a lot more bent towards player versus enemy than it will ever player versus player it can be used in guild battles occasionally but I wouldn't recommend this as a super helpful and useful monster for gale battles. You mainly want to use it for a couple of its abilities and possibly gear score. And that's pretty much as far as it goes when it comes to using it for gale battles. And maybe you have to deal with the Madia or perhaps the other uh, unison activation priority. This monster can also do the trick for that too. Other than that, I would recommend other monsters to use when it comes to um, gale battles. So yes, definitely a great monster for those situations. Okay, so moving on from there, we have the uh, treasure spawn. The treasure spawn offers no rates whatsoever when it comes to actually trying to obtain the monster and trying to get SSRs in general. 
we have treasure medals. Treasure medals are only going to be the regular um, amount. They don't have the, any um, significant increase or decrease. So they're at their staple amount, which is not a lot to be fairly honest whatsoever. But in the exchange, we do have a fairly good amount of stuff to be honest in the exchange. So though they don't have anything special when it comes to the gear spawn and they don't have a lot of treasure medals, they do have um unique stuff within here that you could grab for later on okay so we got fatal testaments fatal testaments activate by chance but when they activate their critical hits guaranteed and critical hits increase the ability power of whatever you're using by 50 so definitely especially on an archer oh my god this is OP. so yes definitely if you can get some fatal testaments if you don't already have some fatal testaments they are very nice to get now when it comes to a treasure spawn i want to let you all know treasure spawns are going to be pay to win so keep in mind it's going to cost like 15 gems to do once um one chest and then they're going to be generous and give you a bonus chance bonus chance allows you to choose two chests in one and when it comes to getting medals each time you spawn after the first time it's going to be 30 gems so it's going to be really a big pain trying to get to if you are like free to play that is getting to a certain amount of metals to actually obtain this gear so this is more of people who really have gems to spend i wouldn't say too much like a lot to be fairly honest but you have some freedom in uh your gem count and what's so not so definitely if you do then you might want to look into some of the stuff i won't say all of it it really depends on what you need and what you don't need but yeah fatal testament is a pretty nice skill if you don't have some i definitely recommend getting some even if these are 33 cost to s um you are I definitely recommend looking into these. Then they got the Chief Fire stuff. Seal of Attack is a very nice skill. Uh, does what a physical test that XL does. And on top of it, increases 5 costs. So, and has like pretty good and good proc rate. So, this proc rates very often. This isn't something that doesn't proc rate very often. This does proc rate pretty dang often, to be fairly honest. And. When it does, it gives you 5 costs back as soon as you use the move. It doesn't matter if it hits, miss, or anything. As soon as it procs off, it gives you 5 costs back. So it's very nice if you're like really bad on cost. If you have an issue with cost, this is definitely stuff you want to look into. Now when it comes to the star coat and these weapons right here, these weapons don't really have great abilities to replace the attack. As a mage though, and as a cleric, anything will do that's not the regular attack. But when it comes to soldier, archer, and lancer, you kind of want to look and see if something will be actually better than the attack. Because these use, um, these use what they call a regular attack, like physical attack, and what's so not. So, uh, having like the regular attack can actually be helpful towards those classes because you actually do damage with these classes. Now, when it comes to the soldiers one, soldiers one is pretty dang good to be fairly honest. And this is a move I highly recommend placing with the attack if you don't have something to place the attack with. But when it comes to the archer, this is not exactly the best thing to be using. This can be useful occasionally, but not the best thing. And when it comes to the lancer, just the cooldown time like if this like the ability actually had a decent cooldown time i definitely say you could replace it with the attack but it doesn't have a decent cooldown time like it's 60 freaking seconds the cost is nice but it's 60 freaking seconds i honestly think you would be able to do more with the rotation of attack attack literally takes five seconds to cool down so you probably would be actually doing more dps just using your regular attack than actually switching that out but the soldiers one is at least useful for the star crown other than that i wouldn't really recommend the star crown stuff um not the star crown the star weapons jeez <laughs> i'm sorry so okay the star armor on the other hand the star armor if you have 34 costs you're trying to infuse i'd go for it other than that i don't really recommend it whatsoever the ability is not all too useful to be fairly honest i would recommend more reflection reflection is not going to be useful overall too much anymore because people have reflection reduction but when it does become useful it does more than uh, damage down will ever do because damage down only decreases the damage, reflection decreases the damage, and then sends the damage back at the attacker. 
that got reduced so definitely useful and then they have the yellow dragon stuff in here now this is very nice deal right here because i believe right before they actually came out with the yellow dragon stuff it was pretty hard to obtain and it was like 3k medals i believe so they nearly dumped it down by half and that's very awesome to be fairly honest even if they don't allow you to get too much medals they offer you to actually be able to kind of obtain this gear to be fairly honest and that's super freaking cool in here the yellow dragon stuff can be useful in the future it is up to date on the cost of what's so not and they do have a skill you might want to pay attention to because they did come out with the dark dark dragon yes the dark dragon's already over but we still have the time dragon to fight and the time dragon is weak against light stuff so honestly if you're planning on farming for that time dragon the 40 cost time dragon because it's not out yet you definitely want to stack up and this is where i really recommend stacking up i'm probably going to do this i'm not 100 sure but i'm probably going to work on trying to get the yellow dragon stuff from here because the yellow dragon stuff has a skill that's very useful it replaces the attack and it has an attack that's super useful as well and i'm just going to say right now it is absolutely devastating and <laughs> yeah if you're looking to build up early this stuff i guarantee you will be useful when the time dragon comes out that is no doubt and it's not exactly expensive to be fairly honest it might cost a pretty penny or it might cost a bit of gems to be honest to get some of this stuff but when you do if you're trying to farm the time dragon event and if you get a couple of these gears and what's so not with your dark it's it's definitely going to be worth it i'm telling you right now it's definitely going to be worth it so definitely if you're looking to farm the time dragon event this stuff right here really does the trick right here this is pretty much a cheat sheet this is allowing you to get a little um head start before they actually come out with it okay so thank you for tuning in thank you for watching and i hope this helped out and i will see you in the next video this is the azrath i'm out Porsche.